This video is brought to you by VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website, on the web at www.vawatchdog.org. NBC News in depth tonight, military families and the stress of having a loved one on the front lines. That stress can be especially difficult for children. NBC's Don Fortangelo has been following a group of military kids for the better part of the last year and tonight has their story in depth. Let me share it. Okay, I'll be back, all right? We see them, the children of military families, as they say goodbye. But what happens to them during these tours of duty, especially those who've been through it more than once? It's late summer, and 16-year-old Josh Lyon is learning to drive. Slow down, too fast, too fast. A teenage rite of passage he's taking without his dad, who's in Iraq, his second military deployment. I guess I had to kind of take that role as the man of the house or whatever, but once my dad comes back, I'll... It's fine with me. I don't really want to be anymore. Easy, hurry up. Ashley Marino lives less than an hour away in Worcester, Massachusetts. Like a lot of teenage girls, she spends time on the website MySpace. He said that he's doing good. Just it's one of the ways she was able to communicate with her two older brothers, both deployed to Iraq at different times. When we sit at the dinner table at nighttime and we have our meals, there's just two seats that aren't filled. Ashley and Josh are among tens of thousands of American children with family members deployed multiple times. There is no research yet about the effects of these deployments. Is anybody in your family in the military? But so pediatrician Keith Columbia. Lemon started hearing complaints of head and stomach aches and yeah, other stressors. It's taken us a while to really understand or to, to notice in children that a lot of their symptoms may have some relationship to their parents' deployment. Lemon saw it in his own son when the military doctor was sent to Afghanistan. So upon his return, he produced this video, interviewing 25 military kids. I get sad a lot when he's gone. A lot. Like when I hear about bombs going off and stuff. It's being distributed to doctors and other groups that work with military children. My dad is in Iraq right now. Josh and Ashley found support at this conference, sponsored by the Army Reserve Family Programs. Also there, Brittany Dukes, with both parents deployed, she was living with family friends. And Corey Hill, whose dad was overseas a second time. What's the predominant feeling, the predominant emotion? Worry. Yeah, worry. I'm worry. I'm proud. If I'm having a bad day or something, I'll wish he was there just so I could have some advice or something. If you're asking yourself, what can I do to support the war, find a military kid, tell them that you appreciate their service and sacrifice. Back in Massachusetts, Josh's family moved into a new house while Dad was away. I think it'll be a lot better once he actually gets here. It'll feel more like home. Daddy! That day finally arrived this fall for both Josh and Ashley, whose dad and brother returned together safely. You're beautiful. Military families. You're beautiful. Once again, complete. Yeah, oh <laughs> Dawn Fortangelo, NBC News, New York. And a final note, both of Brittany's parents have also returned from the front lines, and Corey's dad is expected to leave Iraq in the spring. You can find more on this story and some resources for military families on our website at nightly.msnbc.com.